finally on to the body language part, which is the most fun, right? First of all, etiquette-wise, most people sit too close. They lean in and they sit really close, and so it's just their face that you see. Or, worse yet, they have it at some weird angle that it's shooting straight up their nose, or they're, you're only getting this much of their head because of where it is, particularly if people are getting on on their phones versus on their computers, and they don't have a good place to set it or a, a holder for their phone. If this is going to be something that lasts for a while with your company, you may want to invest in phone holders or different things for them to help with these calls to make you come across as professional as possible. Even a blank screen for behind them, perhaps, or those retractable screens that maybe that even has your logo on it. Maybe it, it is branding for behind your virtual workers. Maybe you invest in some of those that can go behind them to give them a uniform look of everybody across the screen. So now that you're on here, sit back. That's rule number one. You want to sit far enough away that people kind of get at least a chest up view of you, if not waist high and up. Why do we do this? Well, you want to give off as many nonverbal signals as you can to the other people and come across as well as you can. But you may not come across so well if it's just your face because then you, everything about you is blown up. Every facial expression, every tiny little eye roll that may come across, or those microfacial expressions that flash across your face of doubt or of disgust or of anger, or it could be pleasurable things too, but we always glom onto the negative ones. And if it's just your face this big, we're going to see that. And remember that just because you don't see everybody across the top of the screen, depending on how many people are on the call, you may not see little thumbprint images of all of them, but somebody can always see you at all times, particularly if you're making noise or when you speak, it, the view on the big screen always switches to the speaker. So that is something that's really important. If there's going to always be a screen, uh, a screen share of a presentation, a PowerPoint or some graphics or something that are on there, you're a little bit off the hook. But depending on the service that you're using, you may still see little thumbnails of people along the side. Or if it's being recorded, you may still see those little thumbnails on the side that you couldn't see in your screen, but suddenly they come out on the recording. So if you're doing something uh, odd, if you have a habit of, of tugging on your ear, or if you're scratching your nose and people can't quite tell, are they picking their nose or are they scratching their nose? You don't want to give off anything that's going to be taken uh, at all negatively, right? So sit back a little bit so that they get more than just your face. And then they can also see hand gestures coming through the screen a little bit as well. Particularly if you use your hands and are very expressive with your gestures, you're going to want to make sure that it's not just your fingertips bouncing into the screen. Because when it's your fingers bouncing into the screen, that's not so great. 